Hi all folks, this is Max from Xenomax.com and HTCEvoHacks.com So the word around the street is that you can actually get temp root uh, which is true, I tried it and um, it's pretty simple to do um, To do this, go download evo 3 uh, temproot.zip. I'll have links below on my video and uh, basically what this gives you is like one-time access to a uh, super user app for example, well let me let me walk you through um, so first, you'll have to download that zip file, unzip it, uh, connect your Evo 3D to your computer, make sure it's a 3D, and then go to um, ah, go to settings and um, applications, and make sure um, under development, USB debugging is checked on, as shown here. Right, and once you've done that, let's go to your computer. So, if you unzip the uh, Evo 3D temp root.zip, you'll get this file folder called Evo 3D temp root. And basically, what we're going to do is um, just copy it over to the root directory of your C, C drive. So, just take the whole thing and then put it on there, C like that, or it'll just move it. So, now it's under my C directory or whatever your um, root directory. This is just for easiness and if you're on Linux or Mac um, you can put it wherever but you just gotta make sure you you know CD to it later. Next what we'll do is open up a command prompt go to uh, start search CMD for Windows and you can open just a shell in Linux or Mac. I hope you can figure that out. It's pretty easy. Just Google it if you don't know how. Um, first we're just gonna copy uh, first we're gonna go over to the directory for Linux, it's CD, CD slash um, wherever you put it, the Evo 3D directory. If you put it in root, it would be Evo 3D temp root like that for Linux and Mac. But for Windows, we're going to go the opposite way. This is actually a Korean font um, for that, so that's why it's all funky. But we'll do CD slash Evo 3D temp root like that. To go into the directory, we just unzip. And this directory, if you want to see every, the contents, you do DIR. That's all the files in it, and then uh, for for our commands, if you have Linux or Mac, just replace the ADB part with ADB-Linux or ADB-Mac. So the next, all the next commands we can just copy and paste over. I'll have it on my blog post. Um, just copy and paste over these things. We're gonna copy over the three uh, free three vo. Um, that's actually root exploit. But uh, it only works once, um, which kind of sucks. But you can still run rooted apps. Just you can't, you know, run a bunch of them at once. And then the next one, that's the SU and the busy box. And then we're gonna ch mod seven seven seven. All of these. So I'll just copy over all these commands. Um, this basically makes all those files executable. And then like that, and then we're gonna install superuser.apk, which is a super user app. Um, this is like disposable, uh, like rooting method. So it's temporary, but it works. I've got a Wi-Fi tether to work. Just I couldn't connect any computers to it. I think I'm not sure. It's it's not it's not the root part, but um, something to do with the actual Wi-Fi tether. Uh, anyway, the next part, we're um, next. This, this part you have to do just once, and the next part um, you have to do it every time you want to be in root. Every time you reboot your phone, so just do adb shell, right? And every time you want to get the temp root on your phone, slash data uh, dot slash data slash local slash tmp slash free three vo vo, right? And this will basically uh, root your phone, but you still have to fix the uh, super user app. So we're going to get back into shell again. And then we're going to do, see how we got super user there? We're going to do dot slash data slash local slash tmp slash fix su dot sh. And this will fix our su so we can actually use it just once. And then you get some removed error, but that's fine. As long as you get one error, that's fine. And then we'll go back to our phone real quick. 
And uh, let me show you that we have super user now. Let's zoom in for the temp root moment of uh, moment of awesomeness. Uh, what you're gonna do is uh, basically get some kind of app. I've downloaded Wi-Fi Tether root app. You can just go Google Android Wi-Fi Tether and download the latest latest APK. But you can see I have super user, and I'll show you that um, my Wi-Fi Tether actually works but it doesn't connect computers. But I'm not getting errors, so I'm not sure why it's not connecting. Um, but it'll start just once. If you stop it, it's gonna just force close the super user app and then it won't stop working. But as you can see, it works and I'll show you the log that everything is working. Stopping driver, loading Wi-Fi firmware, when all that screen, Tethering is working. And I can also show you on my computer real quick here. i show you right here. This is my computer here. Um, you'll see EVO 3D right there, see? So my Wi-Fi Tether app is working. Um, next what I'll show you what's wrong with uh, this temp root method because it's actually temp root just once if you ever provoke the super user app again like such as stop tethering which uses the super user app to get permissions you get a force close and then you'll get no more SU um, although you get SU in a super user still root in ADB but that's about it so now you get the force close error so that's the temp root it actually allows you to write to the uh, to the disk and everything just I guess everything gets reverted um, the second time you run the super user app but you can run like titanium apps um, just you just gotta make sure it doesn't ask for root permission root permissions more than once anyway that's how to temp root um, for those of you um, have a lot of uh, want to do something fun you can do this um, of course you can always use a rooting hormone too um, anyway um, that's how you temp root it it, you, it can be useful, it's still root, you know, better than nothing, but um, I know they're working on permanent root. Uh, for those of you not, you know, familiar with rooting, I will just wait until um, the permanent root is here. But this can't hurt you, you can just try it for fun. Um, of course not. Anyway, thanks y'all, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, because I'll have the permanent root video. Um, you know, it's... Uh, world of difference when you have a uh, easy to um, follow videos you know instead of just writing anyway thanks y'all see you later